Happy New Year, everyone. It's great to be back, and it's wonderful to look forward to these concerts this weekend, which are about as technicolor and larger than life than, than you can imagine. And I always like making programs where the connections and the relationship between the pieces becomes stronger in the playing, even though originally the two pieces had nothing to do with one another. But finding those connections is, for me, a very cool thing. And this weekend, we have two pieces that were co-opted by the movies, for better or for worse, um, really outside of the intention of the composers, um, certainly, um, but also in terms of how it affects the way people listen to this music. Um, of course, The Sorcerer's Apprentice is forever linked in everyone's mind with the great movie Fantasia. And as Mickey Mouse struggles to control all of those little cartoon characters, this great music is going on in the background, and it really doesn't, in my mind, diminish the impact of The Sorcerer's Apprentice, this great piece by Ducat, which opens our program, to remember that, because it highlights how unbelievably descriptive is the orchestration and how wonderfully crafted this piece is to evoke a really powerful sense of drama. Um, it really is an extraordinary piece. It was, it was written originally um, as an exercise uh, to show sort of not, what not to do compositionally in writing a scherzo, and it turns out to be this rather perfect expression of orchestral virtuosity. And closing the program is an equally impressive and famous piece, not so much in its entirety, but certainly for the opening, because the opening of Also, also Sprach Zarathustra, Thus Spake Zarathustra by Richard Strauss, was used, of course, by Stanley Kubrick in 2001 A Space Odyssey. And ever since then, those unbelievable opening bars, uh, which still do not fail each time to move and to thrill, um, have been forever linked in everyone's imagination as this incredible explosion of power and sound. And in fact, that is the case in context of the story of Strauss, because the uh, fable that the myth that is that is uh, recounted in this story does begin with this epic confrontation of Zarathustra, who realizes that now he must come down from the mountain and live among the world again, and talking to the universe as he does at the beginning of the of the uh, of the music and greeting the sunrise um, is an extraordinary moment in musical history, and these two pieces exploit every single possibility, all the capacity of these very large orchestras to maximal effect, and it's an incredibly fun experience, certainly to play, but also to listen to. Um, I think you're going to really enjoy these concerts. I think that the, the way those two pieces frame uh, the entire program is a really uh, wonderful sensory experience. And of course, we also have another treat, which is to welcome a new soloist making his debut with us at these concerts, Hao Shen Zhang, who is one of the prize winners of the most uh, recent Van Cliburn competition, a brilliant pianist playing a piece that <clears throat> has become a wonderful vehicle for him, Prokofiev's Third Piano Concerto, which also is full of fireworks and uh, technical challenges and brilliance, and it's going to be a wonderful thing to welcome such a great new artist to play with us. I really hope to see all of you at these concerts.